Hello, everybody. It's Mike here at Gay from Scratch with some more excellent news for Blender. You know, sometimes when it rains, it pours, and lately it is pouring excellent news for Blender. Blender 2.8 is just around the corner. Blender just received a huge grant from uh, Epic Games for just their development efforts. And then just today, Ubisoft has joined the Blender development fund. Now, I'm going to throw Ubisoft sort of an asterisk because it's not the Ubisoft you think or not the division you may think as a game player or a game developer. But we'll get into that in just a second because the news is just as good either way when you look at it. So the developer fund is a way for companies to sponsor or contribute to Blender itself. And again, you see here that Ubisoft is joining. So this is the announcement from the uh, Blender news page. We're going to see one from uh, Ubisoft as well. And then we're going to get into a little bit of detail what, what the developer fund is all about. And before I continue too much further, I want to apologize if there is a noise in the background. I have to run a fan today. It might be making some feedback. I apologize, but I have no choice. Heat wave and all, the fan stays on. So if the audio quality is a little poor, I apologize for that. Anyways, back to the news. So we got today, uh, Ubisoft announced they will join the Blender Foundation Development Fund as a corporate gold member. Not only will Ubisoft help funding online support for Blender developers, Ubisoft Animation Studio, a, a department of Ubisoft Film and Television, will also use Blender for the production and assign developers to contribute to Blender's open source project. So it's Ubisoft Animation Studio, a division of Ubisoft, but not the game company that you're thinking of right now. This is a much smaller division. We'll get into a little bit of what they do in just a few seconds, but do be aware that that is a key difference here. This isn't like Ubisoft um, taking on Blender for, you know, uh, Assassin's Creed games or anything like that. This is for their uh, uh, film and, and so on division. So you're going to see a lot of the improvements that they contribute to the watch this are probably going to be in that side of things. More the animation tools, the rendering, that stuff. Not really the more game time stuff. Anyways, and I apologize if I butcher these names here. Uh, Pirat Jaquette, uh, head of production at Ubisoft Animation Studio, said, Blender was for us an obvious choice. It's strong and engaged community pair up with the vision carried by the Blender Foundation makes it one of the most DC, uh, creative DCC or digital content creation um, of the market. Good news keeps coming, said Blender founder and chairman Ton Rosendahl. It's such a miracle to witness the industry jumping on board with us. I've always admired Ubisoft as one of the leading games and media producers in the world. I look forward to work with them and help them find their way as a contribute to our open source um, projects on blender.org. Now we're going to head on over, and of course I will have all these links available for you in the link down below. But we're heading on over to the Ubisoft press release on this topic. And they're basically saying the same thing in this first paragraph. They're joining as a corporate gold sponsor or gold member. We'll get back to what that means in just a second. Um, so Ubisoft Animation Studio was created in 2011 as part of Ubisoft Film and Television to support the creation of Rabbids Invasion TV series, which they made for four years, and they're moving on to something new. At Ubisoft Film and Television, our ambition is to build an independent production company with a distinctive voice inspired by Ubisoft's world. So basically, they are creating uh, animation projects uh, based off of Ubisoft's IPs, it seems. Uh, players expect Ubisoft to deliver AAA games, and to live up to that, our studio has to deliver AAA animated series and films. To best accomplish our goal, we decide to rethink the foundation of the studio to boost creativity. With this in mind, we created an incubator department to help new projects to life by um, giving creative and technological support to our directors and artists. It's a department with a very agile mindset that has the mission to explore new styles and creation tools that can help us push the boundaries in animation. And how does the shift towards open source software uh, support creativity within Ubisoft Animation Studios? Part of boosting creativity is implementing technology, technological solutions to support the creators. We decided to transform a workflow centered on in-house software to a more agile development environment supported by open source and inner source solutions. This way our research and development and pipeline teams could focus their efforts on bringing innovative ideas to the table while working closely with the creatives. In that new workflow, Blender is replacing our in-house DCC tool. Uh, we will use it to produce short content with the incubator at first and start to use it on our upcoming shows in 2020. And then what about Blender makes it right? Blender was for us an obvious choice considering our big move. It is supported by a strong and engaged community. It's paired with the um, vision carried by the Blender Foundation, making it one of the most rapidly evolving DCCs on the market. On top of that, this is an open source project. It allows us to contribute to its development by joining as a corporate member, basically money, and by sharing with the community some of the tools our dedicated Blender team will be developing. So as they improve it, they're going to be giving back some of those tools. Uh, we love the idea of this mutual exchange between the foundation, the community, and our studio will benefit everyone in the end. 
Uh, Blender has been around for some time. Why has Ubisoft chosen to become a corporate gold member? We believe that Blender 2.8, which again is releasing any day now, we're at Blender Release Candidate 2 as the time I record this, so it should be literally any day now. We believe that Blender 2.8, which will be released in the coming days, is a game changer for the CGI industry. Blender has been on Ubisoft's radar for a long time. In the past year, more and more of our artists have shown interest in using it in production. The growth of our internal Blender community, as well as the innovations brought by 2.8, uh, convinced us that this was the right time to support our artists in production that would like to add Blender to their toolkit. What better way to support uh, that switch than donating to the Blender Foundation so we can help Blender continue to grow? Uh, how does working with open source tools balance out with working in in-house tools? At Ubisoft Animation, we will always have very specific needs, and in-house development is the most efficient way to serve these. On the other hand, we had our own DCC, so basically they made their own version of Blender. Uh, we had the ability to significant... Um, we had to spend a significant amount of time to maintain and improve the core of the software. Uh, this was less time that we could be spent innovating. Working with open source solutions like Blender allows us more flexibility and frees some resources to focus on research and exploration of new ways and tools to create animated shows. Our discussion with the Blender Foundation has shown us that our goals are aligned, making the open source collaboration the obvious choice. Uh, how do you see Ubisoft expanding its support of open software in the future? Up to now, Ubisoft tested the water by open sourcing some in-house game projects such as Sharp Make and forking existing projects such as Massgate. We consider open source the best possible software development model available to us, and we are ready not only to invest but to contribute to mature open source software such as Blender, uh, which is uh, evolving rapidly at the speed of our industry. Uh, cool to see them jump on board with something like Krita as well in the future, but uh, this is definitely a nice first step. So a little bit about what that goal Blender Foundation thing is all about. This is part of corporate membership. So they've got a development page. I will link this as well if you're a corporation and you want to get behind Blender. And you'll see there are various different tiers available that you can sponsor at. So this one says that corporate gold is 30,000 euro or a half a year of development time uh, from that funding on an annual basis. So basically, Ubisoft is going to be giving them 30,000 euro uh, a year to help support the development process. And of course, their contributions back, whatever they are. However, I think there is a bit of a... Oh no, stays consistent. All right, so here you can see this is their actual PDF. Again, I will link this as well. This is the what you get out of being a corporate member. And you don't really, um, you know, you, you don't buy. Nobody's like, this is not Ubisoft buying Blender. Now, some people are also thinking that about the Epic grant, and that's not that either. This is literally supporting and what you get back. So you see here at the, the bronze here, you get logo credit as a corporate bronze sponsor on Blender.org dev fund page, a strong voice in approving projects for Blender. So you do get more clout in deciding the future direction of it, but it is still an open project. Uh, so we got logo and credit as corporate at silver member level and a strong voice. So basically they're the same thing, more money. And then gold, you get a prominent logo instead of just a logo. Uh, credit as corporate gold member, um, member in blender.org and official Blender Foundation communications, a strong voice in future projects. And the, it, it, they're saying this, this enables a um, half year of development time from that funding level. So that is what they mean when they say they are becoming a uh, gold member. It's cool to see another studio, even if it isn't the game studio. That would be awesome if this was Ubisoft, the game studio coming on board. But Ubisoft's animation studio who knows maybe that's the beginning of a shift and other people see it but if nothing else it's validation that Ubisoft oh, sorry that uh, Blender especially the Blender 2.80 is being taken more and more serious in the professional CG industry and again more development efforts more people contributing to it uh, it's definitely a win for the Blender Foundation for Blender users especially Blender users working in the animation space and hopefully it's a win for Ubisoft Animation Studio as well but we will find out all right that is the news for today what do you think do you think Blender just keeps getting better and better? Or are you a little worried about these corporate influences coming into an open source project? I'm not. Ton has been a, a good guiding voice in the past, and I don't see him selling out any time ever. He could have made a whole lot more money than he has from the Blender Foundation. And I believe that he will continue to do what is right for Blender, not what is right for well, him. <laughs> so anyways, that is it. And that is some, it's some pretty good news. All right. Talk to you all later. Goodbye.